Welcome back. This is episode 76 of the Veterinary Business Video Show. This episode made possible with the support of VBay Veterinary Business Advertising. In today's show, we'll consider the importance of creativity in a busy and demanding market. We'll examine a resource to make it easy to create job descriptions for your practice team. And we'll look at one of the joint venture veterinary business opportunities in the UK. We'll consider the issue of low cost clinics and ask whether you should compete or cooperate. And I'll offer you my quick business tip for this episode. I'm John Sheridan, and this is the show that helps practice owners, managers, and clinicians just like you to build your successful practice into a great business. According to a study of the views of 1,500 chief executives around the world, CEOs believe that success in an increasingly complex and demanding marketplace requires, amongst other things, creativity. Do you think there's a need for creative thinking in the delivery of professional veterinary services? One definition of creativity in business is the ability to perceive the world in new ways, to generate fresh solutions to problems and to create new products, processes or services for a changing market. Is the veterinary marketplace changing? Of course it is. How we deal with that change by creative thinking about the needs of animal owners and the delivery of products and services which satisfy those needs is a core skill for practice leaders and one of the best ways to set your practice apart from the competition. I hesitated before including this clip in the video show because it concerns five hypothetical monkeys being treated in a way which as vets we would probably disapprove. On the other hand, it is hypothetical and it does ex help to explain why one of the biggest obstacles to creativity is a reliance on the status quo. So I'd like to begin with a story about monkeys. You take five monkeys and you put them in a cage and you suspend a bunch of bananas from the roof of the cage, close the door, inside the cage is a little stool. Now monkeys like bananas and they're pretty smart, so they look at the bananas, they look at the stool, they pick up the stool, they go for the bananas, and as soon as the first monkey touches the bananas, you spray freezing cold water on all of them, which they hate. And they back off, and then they'll creep forward and they'll try again, and you spray them again. And after about three attempts at getting the bananas and getting sprayed, they'll stop and they'll just sit there and look sadly while they're shivering, look up at those bananas. Now at that point, you open the door and you take out one of those monkeys and you put a new monkey in. So now you have four wet monkeys and one dry monkey in the cage. <laughs> you close the cage and the new monkey looks around, sees four shivering wet monkeys, sees the bananas, sees the stool, moves the stool, goes for the bananas, and as soon as he starts to reach for the bananas, the four wet monkeys jump up and beat the heck out of him. <laughs> so now you have four wet monkeys and a bloody monkey. And you open the door and you pull out one of the wet monkeys and you put in a dry monkey. So it's now three wet monkeys, a bloody monkey and a dry monkey. And you close the door and the dry monkey looks at the bananas, looks at the stool, moves. Now all four of the other monkeys jump up and beat the heck out of him. So now you have two bloody monkeys and three wet monkeys and you repeat this process again and again. And the fifth time you repeat it, there are now no wet monkeys left in the cage. There's four bloody monkeys and a dry monkey. The dry monkey, the new guy, looks at the stool, looks at the bananas, moves the stool, goes for the bananas, and the other four jump up and beat the heck out of him. Now think about that. Why did they do that? Because that's the way it's always been done. That's what you do. But none of them ever personally experienced getting wet. They don't know why that was the way it was. Just that's the way it was. So that's what they did. And it occurs to me that in many respects of our lives, we are like those monkeys. We do lots of stuff that we have no idea why we 